Hey guys, it's me, Adam Harrison from Burble Guitars. You are here with the Cigar Box Guitar Builder. And today, uh, you're going to watch me wire up a, uh, a humbucking pickup up to a volume control and a tone control, and obviously to an output jack. We're also going to be doing an earth wire. So this is the underside of the Cigar Box. Uh, if you have a little look there, that's the inside. That's what it's going to look on the outside. But we're going to get this going here. There's These are the four screws for the steel bridge. And this screw, this hole here, is going to be for the earth wire. All right, so let's get started. I've already installed the humbucking pickup. We've got a cable here, which is relatively long. A couple of tools, which I would strongly suggest to get a good pair of wire clippers. These are great. Uh, nice little pair of uh, snips and some extra wire. I've got some brown and some blue wire there, um, just in case I need it, probably for the earth wire more than anything. And let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is tin the pots. So what I've done is on the earth lug, which is the number one lug, I've folded it over. I'm gonna apply some heat. Here we go. I'm gonna apply some solder. There we go. Now, what I've done to preempt this is I've actually sanded the tops of the pots. And the reason for that is there's usually a um, there's usually a layer of um, like an oily substance, which can make it very, very, very difficult to apply the blob of solder that you need. You'll end up putting a lot more heat onto the onto the unit than you want, and that can actually damage excess heat can actually damage the um, the potentiometer. I'm pre-tinning the up uh, the lugs as well, and I've actually now just soldered in the point zero four seven capacitor which I'm going to use to connect the volume and the tone control. Now you will notice this wire is quite long so what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to snip it and just to shorten the amount of cable so here we go. Now keeping in mind we're looking here we've got the red cable for this particular pickup is the live and your earth is connected here. Now, here we go. We're actually going to use this one, this wire here to connect the volume pot to the output jack. And you'll notice I've separated those wires there's a shielding wire here. It's very important to wrap that shielding wire back again around the earth. And we're going to tin the tip. So just at the tip there, we're going to tin that. I'm just going to tin it at a little heat. There we go. And we're just going to pre-tin, we're going to tin live. All right, so we're going to connect now, the live, there we go, and this is the earth. Now, if you make a mistake and you attach the earth to the live and the live to the earth, what will happen is when you plug your guitar in, you'll get this really crazy loud kind of sound. So if that ever happens to you when you're putting your guitar together, or you've just put your guitar together, that more than likely is going to be the reason. So here we go, add our earth. 
just there. Snip that off. This is the wire from the pickup. And we're gonna do exactly the same thing. There we go, to separate the live wire and the white earth wire. And we've got the frayed ends of the shielding wire. And we're gonna do the same thing again. We're gonna wrap the shielding wire. That's all. Here we go, now we're connecting the live from the pickup to the number three lug on your volume potentiometer, which in this case is a 500K. And we're gonna attach that earth back here as well. There we go. Just let it flow, hold it. There's a little rule of thumb with soldering and it's the 333 rule. So, and that is three seconds of heat, three seconds of solder and then three seconds to let it rest. So don't let it move for three seconds. Now I'm going to apply connect now the earth wire which will fit go underneath the bridge. Now as I'm twisting this, I've snipped this with my snippers. As I'm twisting, pulling this off, I'm twisting it. And what that'll do, there we go, will twist your wire so it doesn't fray all over the place. Now again, I'm going to solder this. I normally have little clamps, but it's just for space. I wanted to try and make this as clear as possible. Now I'm going to pre-tin the whole length of this. So it's nice and straight and it's nice and firm. There we go. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to connect. There we go. That lug there. Pull that down, and I'm going to connect now. See how I can bend it and it stays in place? I'm now connecting the volume pot to the tone pot. And then this wire is then going to continue up underneath the bridge. We can have a little look there. I'm just going to hold this up. I hope the camera stays in focus. Can you see the little blob of solder just there? There's a relatively little blob. I like to also, sorry, just get a little offshoot there. And I like to snip, snip those off if I can. There we go. Now, I'm making sure as well that none of the wires are touching any of the other points. So they're all free. Okay, you'll notice that the, the tinning that I've done is very, very clean, okay? You don't need big, enormous blobs of solder. Just a little bit of solder will do the job really nicely. That's the one. So that's basically it. Now what will happen here is, I'll just show you. All right, you'll notice that I've left quite a long wire here. And the reason for that is, it means that I can actually, first things first, I want to see where this hole comes through on the bottom. So I can feel it. Yep, I can feel that. I'm going to put that under. See, there we go. Now this will now come through the hole that I've placed there. Can you see that? I'm going to snip. I'm going to cut. And I'm going to twist as I pull that off. Right, now, here's a little trick. This will stop that awful humming that you can get from it. But I do have a nice piece of this. And all I do is rip it off and I place it, I tape it, I do this. What I do is I put a little bit of tape underneath here. And I usually just twist that wire and put a kink in it. So the idea is now when I place 
the bridge on top, it's sandwiched, that earth wire is sandwiched between this piece of copper tape and this bridge. Now this paint is actually will actually transfer signal. Okay? So I've now what I'll be doing is earthing the strings. And this is super, super, super important because if you don't do this on an electric guitar, um, you'll get this awful, awful, especially at high volume, but you'll get this absolutely horrendous buzzing sound. <laughs>